Hey everyone, I wanted to jump on and give you a quick update. Sorry I have not been able to post the last couple days. I have not been in my shop. I've been traveling. Um, hopefully um, you all saw where I was at in Lakeland, Florida at Sun Fun, the holiday fly-in and uh, car show, which also had the National Stole event. So I was there Friday, Saturday, got home late Sunday, had to rest a little bit, uh, camped out. I got down to about, I want to say 49, 48 degrees those nights. So I got a little bit chilly. Didn't sleep much. I was camping out there. Anyway, back onto this. I'm done traveling for the month. I'm done traveling until next year, right? So that means a lot of time to be able to work it on, on this thing here full time, actually. So. Good stuff. Well, let me catch you up on, on where we're at with this. And uh, oh, by the way, guys, thanks for so much for posting. I've been I've been looking, even though I was traveling, couldn't respond. A lot of you have been posting, and that's it's great. And I really appreciate that. Uh, it's very motivational to see what you're doing. In fact, I passed. I think it's Michael Hild Hildebrand. Hild I'm, I'm I'm messing that up. Uh, Zenith Builder in Ocala. I passed right by you. Sorry I couldn't stop. I think you were working. Maybe next time. All right, so obviously not a whole lot has changed since I've spoken to you guys last. I'm working on the, uh, the seat slider installation, and I've got that laid out as far as how, how far over from the edge that's supposed to be. That's the uh, red marks here. Um, and I think I mentioned last time I have to move back about 8 millimeters to be able to catch this so it's on its vertical plane there. So. Still, I was thinking on that in the drive of what I wanted to do with that if I wanted to... Um, oh, the other thing is, is um, I was thinking about is this hole here is the, the uh, mounting point for your lap belt and the bolt sticks out when the bracket a good bit there. In fact, I even talked to um, Roger at Zenith about the clearance on that because I believe it's so close that it will rub. In fact, he says what they do is they typically just grab a, a wrench and bend um, let's show you what I'm talking about here. They bend this aluminum, it sits there like that, and they'll just bend this in to clear that bolt. And I thought about maybe dividing the distances there and just moving it closer to the outboard, but then there's a bracket that sits here and it would rub the same thing. So that's where I'm at with that at the moment. I'll get both of these things drilled and figured out and um, hopefully move on to the scuffing and priming and painting. All right, so other than that, the other little bit of news, I spent about two or three, more, um, two or three hours this morning at a board meeting at my, my airport, Foxtrot 95, talking to the guys there, and I'm kind of the, uh, the, the go-to guy for events. I've become like the official event person at my airport, so good stuff there. Um, that being said, I presented an idea to them this morning and they bought into it, so I'm, I'm super excited. This coming year, 2022, our airport's going to be very busy. Uh, I'm trying to plan something each and every month at our airport. Uh, it'll be a different venue, different focus each month, like maybe a, a Zenith fly-in or a Sonix fly-in or a Cessna Club fly-in or a Beechcraft fly-in or you get the point. Um, even a helicopter thing. I think they mentioned something about doing a, a pork chop chopper fly-in. So I thought, I thought that was kind of fun. 
Anyway, more on that in the future. Guys, keep sharing if you could. Uh, it's very inspirational and motivating for all of us to see what you're working on. And um, when you do post, if you could each time, state the, uh, the airframe that you're building and where you're at. Keep them coming.